Hey Killer Bees, it's Paula B from PaulaBeeFitness.com and on tap today I've got a great happy cardio workout that's perfect for women of a certain age. You guys, there is absolutely no jumping today. There's no transitions to the ground and there's no equipment needed. There is, however, a warm up and a cool down. So when you're ready for this one, I'm totally ready. Let's go. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get moving and grooving. And that means that we are starting with some arm circles and high knees. Ah, I love that first arm circle. I know I say that a lot. You know, I have to tell you, at this point in time, I have almost 800 videos on YouTube, and there comes a point in each workout where I'm like, I wonder how many times I've actually said that. It's probably somewhere in the dozens to maybe even a hundreds of times that I have said certain things. And if you are brand new here, you don't know that yet, but I promise you there are certain things that I repeat, and one of them is this warm-up, you guys. I love love this warm-up. We do the exact same warm-up and cool down for every single video because that way it gives me a chance to kind of chat with you and also it gives my body and my mind a chance to kind of relax before we get going with the workout because it's very Pavlovian. I already know what's coming and today, oh today I know what's coming. You guys, I'm so happy about this one. <laughs> That's why I called it a happy cardio workout. Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers. I happen to love cardio. If you are new here, you don't know that yet, but I am a cardio girl through and through. I love me some strength training also, but but I'm a cardio girl. And so if you don't like cardio, I have to be honest, this one might not make you as happy as it makes me, but I am hoping that today is one of those days where you could just relax and have fun because frankly, I think we could all use that. I think we could all use a little bit of a break, a little bit of some endorphins, a little bit of not thinking too hard, a little bit of not working too hard, but just right. Today's workout is intended to be a moderate day for me, and that's how I'm gonna be demonstrating it here on screen. I'm gonna be taking all the intervals at a pace that I can talk through, of course. But I want you to know that you can make this workout work for you. In fact, I have, if you open up the description box, I have a five page resource that explains how you can take any workout, any of them, anywhere on the internet and make it work for you and your goals. And the fact is a moderate workout has a place in any kind of a fitness routine. Let's go ahead and do some welcome to my homes because welcome ah, to my cardio home, <laughs> you guys. Here's what it looks like today. I've got the handy dandy gym boss here. Set for intervals of 20 seconds. Some of those are rest. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get started with just one exercise and then we're gonna rest. But then we are inchworming our way through my relatively long work, uh, list of exercises. It is kind of a repeating no repeat. What I mean by inchworm is that we're doing one exercise by itself, but then we're doing that same exercise paired with another exercise. And then we're doing that second exercise paired with a third exercise. And then we're resting and then we're doing that third exercise paired with a fourth exercise and so on. So we are repeating, but we are inchworming our way through a fun list of some of my favorite cardio exercises. Let's go ahead and get going. We're starting with big arm side shuffles, which is pretty much what it sounds like. We're doing a side shuffle with some big arms swooping through the air, taking this at a pace that feels a little bit like an extended warm up. We're not trying to get out of the gate going super crazy fast, unless today is a push day for you, in which case you go ahead and go crazy, my friend. <laughs> But for the rest of us, we are taking this nice and moderate. So here is 20 seconds of rest, which you're not really going to need right now, but as we get further in the workout, it'll feel really nice. What we're going to do though, is those big arm side shuffles paired with rainbow kicks. So the work interval is going to be longer for the rest of the workout, which is why this was kind of an extended warm up. So here's our big arm side shuffles again. And then when it beeps, there's no rest. We're going directly into those rainbow kicks, which means that we've got our hands swooping up overhead like a rainbow while we're kicking out to the side, that same side that our hands are on. It is one of my favorite exercises and truly this is one of, so here we go, rainbow kicks. This is one of my favorite ways 
to go through a list of exercises. This protocol, my, my inchworm protocol, is honestly one of my favorites. It makes the workout move, I think, very quickly. There's plenty of rest. It's not an especially overly difficult, 20 seconds of rest. It's not an overly difficult way of getting through the workout, but because it, it repeats without repeating, I don't know, there's so many things about this that I just enjoy. And again, I put this together for me to enjoy today. <laughs> again. We're doing those rainbow kicks. So here we go with rainbow kicks. And then this time we're pairing it with leg twister jacks. Now, now here is the little bit of a monkey wrench that I threw into things today. There are a couple of exercises that might be a little bit difficult for us. Here's the thing about leg twister jacks. You're moving your legs back and forth. Your arms are doing jumping jacks. Don't worry if you can't follow along with it. Your leg is moving in and then out and then in again. And then you move over to the other side, in and out and in. If you are not following with me, it's not a big deal. We're only doing this for two intervals and then we're done with it for the rest of the day. Make sure that you're moving, 10, 20 seconds of rest, making sure that you're moving and having fun, way more important than any individual exercise. There's nothing magic about any one of the exercises that I do. In fact, if I'm doing something that you don't like or can't do, do something else, help yourself. One of these again, here we go again with those leg twister jacks for the second and final time. And then this time we're pairing it with walking stars. Another one that took me, uh, honestly, like years to actually do correctly. So I certainly don't expect anything great of you. What that means is that we are stepping forward. So we're stepping forward with each hand and foot and then stepping back and then switching leader legs each time is actually the, the kind of crazy part about this. I know some instructors will just continue on the round with the same leader leg the whole time. I like to make sure that we are working our brain as well as our body, my friends. 10 seconds or 20 seconds of rest. I keep saying 10 seconds. I generally speaking have 20 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest. This workout with its longer rest interval really lends itself very well to moderation because we've got just a little bit more time to bring down our heart rate before we have a longer work interval. So here we go with those walking stars again. Excellent job in this time we're pairing it with dancing X's. So we're gonna make our big X out of our body with our hands wide and our feet wide. And then we're gonna dance by crunching down into the middle with your opposite elbow reaching towards your opposite knee. It's a big X, here we go. Crunch in the middle, crunch in the middle. Keeping that one hand up overhead the whole time really turns this into some great cardio work. We're making sure that your heart rate is moving at a pace that works for your goals. The fact is, even if you are working 20 seconds of rest, even if you are working on body shaping, you do not have to push every single day. And in fact, especially at our age, pushing every single day for your best performance, when it beeps again, we're doing those dancing X's again, is the fast track to injuring yourself. And crazily enough, here we go with those dancing X's, it can actually completely hinder your weight loss or body shaping efforts. Doing too much work can actually trigger fat storage at our age especially. When we were younger, it probably didn't. And then here we go with close squat swings. So our feet are close together. We're swinging by scooching to one side and then scooching to the other, swinging your hands up in the middle in between. We're squatting and squishing down to the side. It's got a big twist in the middle on each side. It's basically a standing rushing, Russian twist. And then 20 seconds of rest. When it beeps again, we're gonna do those close squat swings again, paired with kick jacks. Ah, here's the magic of this 20 seconds of rest. Nice and moderate, keeps your body flowing towards endorphins without triggering a stress response. So here we go with close squat swings. Hard to say, but fun to do, my friends. Getting that twist in the middle means that we are working our abs as well as our heart and lungs. Now, when it beeps again, we're gonna go directly into kick jacks. 
Your hands are gonna be doing jumping jacks while your feet are kicking, exactly like what it sounds like. A nice big kick out there to the front. Hands are flapping up and down, doing such a good job. Whew, moving at a pace that makes sense for you. Now here's the thing demonstrating something that feels moderate to me. That might be way too fast for you, 20 seconds of rest. It might be way too slow for you. It might be just right. Just because something is moderate for me or anybody else doesn't make it moderate automatically for you. When it beeps again, we're doing those kick jacks again paired with push, push, crunch, which is just what it sounds like. It's a sideways lateral move. So here we go with kick jacks. The push, push, crunch, again, one of my favorites. It kind of looks almost like a hula dance. We're gonna get a little bit of lateral movement. So I'm actually gonna scoot over to the side a little bit here. We're gonna push and push to the side and then sweep our hands up overhead into a big oblique crunch before pushing back the other way. Push, push and crunch, push, push and crunch. The thing about moderation, and this is probably the question that I get asked more than anything in the world. Since I've started really talking about moderation and how good it is for us at our age and how great it is for your weight loss efforts. 20 seconds of rest. When it beeps again, we're gonna do that push, push, crunch paired with windmill tap back. So we're gonna have our hands and feet nice and wide, reaching our opposite hand down towards our opposite foot. And so when I'm demonstrating moderation, it's moderation for me. And I know that sometimes when you're following along, here we go with push, push, and crunch. Sometimes when you're following along, you're like, okay, I have to go at exactly the rate that Paula is going because she said this was moderate. But but if it's way too much for you, if your fitness level is different, if you didn't sleep as much as I did last night, if your hydration level is different, if you're just having an off day, here we go with those windmill tap backs, reaching down towards your opposite foot, or knee, or shin, or thigh, or wherever you can get to. This is more about cardio than about flexibility. The fact is, you might actually be pushing way too hard trying to keep up with me and what's moderate for me. 20 seconds of rest. When it beeps again, we're gonna do those windmill tap backs again, paired with double knees. Hands up overhead, we're gonna bring up your hands down to your knee two times in a row on one side and then two times in a row on the other side. But you guys, when you are moderating for you, here we go with those windmill tap backs, it should feel moderate. <laughs> if it feels like a push, it's a push. If it feels moderate, it's moderate. It's not about moving at a certain speed. It's not about lifting a certain number of pounds. It's not about something objective. Moderate, here we go, with those double knees, two knees on one side, two knees on the other. Moderate is absolutely in the eye of the beholder. What you feel is the truth. What you feel is what you are doing. Keeping up with me, I mean, I mean, you can, but you never, ever have to. We got 20 seconds of rest right now. Then we're gonna do those double knees again. Again, one of my favorites, paired with another one of my favorites. After the double knees, we're doing goofy jacks, which is a lot like jumping jacks, but there's absolutely no jumping. It's a little squat while your hands are doing jumping jacks. So here's our double knees for the second and final time. This is what I love about an inchworm. No matter how much you love or don't love any particular exercise, we're done with it pretty quickly and it moves along. Now, sometimes I do these inchworms and I do make it a circuit. So here we go with goofy jacks, it's a little squat, and then your hands are doing jumping jacks and one foot coming out at a time. Today happens to be a one time through. So when we're done with any one exercise, we really truly are done with it. We have inchwormed our way past it. When it beeps again, we're gonna get ah, 20 seconds of rest. Yes, the sweat has come on. You know, here's the other thing about a moderate workout. Even if it feels moderate while you're doing it, you're still gonna be sweating. There's still effort involved in moderation. When it beeps again, we're doing those goofy jacks again, paired with punch, punch, kick. 
which is exactly what it sounds like. Goofy jacks right now. I know you guys have really noticed on this workout in particular that my, my exercises are pretty much named exactly what we're doing so that I know exactly what we're doing when we're moving really quickly. When it moves again, we're gonna do that punch, punch, kick. So we're gonna punch and punch and kick. Punch, punch and kick. Your feet are pretty much staying in one place while you're punching and we're going back and forth again between your leader hand and your kicking foot coming across your body, whew, moving quickly. But you notice that you have to keep your core engaged. Yes, indeed, 20 seconds of rest. The fact is, my friends, no matter what kind of work you're doing, it's always a good idea to hold in your core nice and tight. That's the best way to not get injured. When it beeps again, doing that punch, punch, kick, paired with booty kicker elbow swings. Again, one of my favorites, you guys. I really stacked the deck in my own favor today. And once again, I know if cardio isn't your favorite, that lots of these exercises might truly not be making you especially happy. But I tell you what, you are doing such a good job moving along, making it happen. So booty kickers with elbow swings. Try really hard not to punch yourself in the face like I just did. Got my hands right on my glasses there. <laughs> Even though I'm working moderately, my hands are still swinging, my feet are still kicking my booty. Finding your moderate is gonna take some time. 20 seconds of rest. Coming up next, we're gonna do those booty kicker elbow swings again, paired with toy soldiers. You know, the first, the first several times I tried to do something moderately, I had been so used to pushing so hard for so long, for so much of my exercise life, that I it felt too easy, I'll be honest. Here we go with those booty kicker elbow swings. But after you do moderate workouts for a while, and after you start reaping both the mental and physical benefits from not always pushing yourself so, so hard. When it beeps again, we're doing toy soldiers, hands up. Gonna reach your opposite hand towards your opposite kicking foot. You'll realize and you will come to love just how lovely moderate feels. Now there's gonna be monkey brain the first several times you do something moderate that's gonna say, you didn't do enough, you didn't work hard enough, you didn't sweat enough, didn't burn enough calories, blah, blah, blah. Maybe your brain doesn't talk to you like that, mine does, 20 seconds of rest. But let me tell you something, let me tell you and your monkey brain something. Your body, at every age has specific needs. At our age, the really specific needs that it has is to work at a certain level. And that level, more often than not, here we go with toy soldiers again, is moderation. It gives us so much more energy for everything else that we want to do. When it beeps again, we're doing V reaches, which is basically a big squat. And you are absolutely welcome to do some other kind of a kicking motion if you would prefer not to squat. This is, in fact, a deep squat. We're gonna reach up to one side, squat down, and then reach up to the other. You're welcome to pivot your foot a little bit there too. Get some bonus booty work in there. Actually, the squat is doing plenty of booty work as well. When it beeps again, we're gonna get that 20 seconds of rest. Such a good job you're doing today. Ah, awesome, 20 seconds of rest. And the thing, the thing about moderating is that after you get over that initial, I'm not doing enough stuff, and then you start to really feel the benefit of it, you will find that on the day when you do want to push, that once a week, here we go with those V reaches, squat it down, pop it up, making a big V in the air. When it beeps again, we're going directly into can-cans. It's a knee and then a kick, and then a knee and a kick on the other side. You will find that you have so much more available to you on push day. Here we go with a knee and a kick and a knee and a kick that you are able to actually get better results, better body shaping results, better stamina results, better everything results by moderating most of the time and saving your push. Here we go for 20 seconds of rest. Saving your push for days when you push. When it beeps again, doing those can-cans again, paired with 
our final exercise, which is Drinky Bird Jacks. I know, everybody's favorite, but actually one of my total favorites, and that's why it's included in today's happy cardio. Here we go with Can Cans. You guys, I hope that you're feeling pretty happy at this point. I've got a lot of sweat going on, feeling so good about the effort that we put in today. When it beeps, drinky birds are single leg deadlifts, by the way, in case you have never done drinky birds with me before. Hands are doing jumping jacks. One foot is coming up behind you whoo, while we balance on the other. Oh my goodness. This is cardio, so we are taking it at a, well, moderate cardio pace. Yes, of course you're thinking about balance. Yes, of course you're thinking about pulling your core in, but you're not trying to get over whew, quite as far as you might in other, cir excuse me, other circumstances. <coughs> Choking on my own self here, excuse me, my goodness. When it beeps again, we're doing drinky bird jacks just one more time because that's finishing out our inchworm. When we are done with those drinky bird jacks, haha, -ha, my friends, we are done, but we're definitely not finished. And I know if you don't love drinky bird jacks, you're like, Paula, how can it get worse than this? Well, here's how. Whatever foot you are hold, standing on, when it beeps, we're gonna go ahead and hold it there in that drinky bird hold for 20 seconds. <laughs> yeah. Yes, whichever foot you are on is the foot you are staying on. When it beeps again, we're gonna stand up very briefly and transfer this into a drinky bird hold on the other side. This is our finisher. It is the last final thing that is rather significantly harder than everything else that we have been doing today, and that is the point. Stand up briefly, pop it down into a drinky bird on the other side. The next time it beeps is the last time it's going to beep. I'm gonna turn off the timer. And yes, I know how hard this got, even after a moderate workout, my friends. I gotta make something tough for us. There's always, there's always a little nugget of tough, even in a moderate workout, my friends. What a great job you did. Let's go ahead and tap this out. Ha, ah, just a little bit while we catch our breath and kind of figure out what just happened there with those drinky bird holds, I know. Let's go ahead and do some arm circles to start cooling it down. Oh, doesn't that feel lovely? Again, that first arm circle every time, it just feels lovely to know. You know, when we first got started, it felt lovely to know that this was coming and now it feels lovely to know that we got it done done today. My friend, you did such a great job. Now, I know if today is a push day for you, you might be like, well, I got a little bit more. I have so many cardio workouts for you. I will have a suggestion for you here on screen because, I mean, again, I have tons. Quite a few of them are like little 10 minute add-ons that are kind of perfect for this sort of thing where if you've got just a little bit more. But again, I will tell you and your monkey brain <laughs> that if today was a moderate day for you, that this was great. You did great and you did enough. Let's go ahead and do some arm openers. Oh, stretch out that chest, take a nice deep breath. And arm closers, give yourself a hug and a big pat on the back. Congratulations, you did awesome today. Whether you love cardio or maybe don't so much love cardio, I really hope that today made you happy. You guys, I've got an extended cool down for you here on screen as well. And down in the lower corner, you're gonna see the letter P, which is an invitation to go over to Patreon, where a monthly pledge from you can help me make free workouts for all of us. And thank you so, so much for your support in that manner. On the other side of the screen is a picture of me. That's actually a subscribe button. <laughs> make sure that you click that and the bell notification so that YouTube will let you know every time I upload a new workout. You did such a fantastic job today. I'm super proud of you. Thank you for working out with me. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.